When happening today, the United Nations top court at The Hague is considering the legality of Israel's decades-long occupation of land sought for a Palestinian state. CBS News' Christina Fan joins us live from outside the UN with more on today's historic hearing. Christina. Good morning, Mary. More than 50 countries are expected to participate in these unprecedented hearings, which are expected to take to take place over the course of the next six days at the United Nations highest court in the Netherlands. This morning, a small group of pro-Palestinian protesters gathered outside the International Court of Justice as a panel of 15 international judges decided the legality of Israel's 57-year occupation of land sought for a Palestinian state. Palestinian representatives who are speaking first are expected to argue that the Israeli occupation of the West Bank, Gaza, and East Jerusalem has violated key tenets of international law, including imposing a system of racial discrimination and apartheid. Israel is not scheduled to speak, but could submit a written statement. The hearings come amid mounting concerns about an Israeli ground offensive against the Gaza city of Rafah, where 1.5 million Palestinians currently live. This case arrived at the World Court after the UN General Assembly asked for a non-binding advisory opinion back in 2022. Judges will likely take several months before issuing a final ruling on this matter. Reporting live from the United Nations, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.